And today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to be making some incredibly easy 4th of July coasters. It's going to be simple, inexpensive, very little if any drying time. And you can get the kids involved in a couple of different ways. And it's just going to be really fun. And you can apply this to different themes too. I'm just doing 4th of July. For these coasters, I printed out on cardstock different images that kind of make me think of the 4th of July, like hamburgers, and I gave you a couple examples of hamburgers. We have one that's obviously like an illustration, and then one that's a picture, and then we have one that's just black and white. And this is a great way to get the kids involved because they can color it in and have it be part of the artwork of the day. So we have firecrackers, another hamburger, a s'more, watermelon, a flag, a hot dog, the hot dog's going to be a little bit more of a challenge just because of the shape. So you just want to make sure you have it big enough and it will fit a cup. And you could do all of the same or you could have just a variety of stuff laying around. And it could be a little bit of a conversation starter. So we're going to cut these out. And I'll have a link to the website that has all of these images for free. It's a royalty free site and you could use the images to your heart's content. I'll give you three different versions of how you can do this. You can use a foam backing. This is just craft foam. But before we use that, I want to take some contact paper. And this is just shelf liner contact paper. And I want to put it over the image. Then I'll peel the backing off of the contact paper just like this. Place it over the image. Start in the middle and work your way out. You can use a credit card. I have a bone folder and I'm just going to go over it and make sure it's nice and adhered so there aren't any bubbles. Then you want to take your stick glue and you want to go all the way around it. I'll use some red craft foam for this one. Just place it on an edge, rub it down, and then all you need to do is give it a couple minutes to dry. Now if your kids are old enough you can have them cut out the images and the foam cuts very, very easily. You just cut right up to the edge. There's your first coaster and there's the backing so it won't scratch anything. Now if you're worried about any moisture getting in between there, it could happen. You could take a very thin bead of glue, run it around the edge, and then everything will be sealed. Just make sure it's a clear drying glue. So that's number one. Now another backing alternative could be a cork. And this is just from shelf paper. So you want to roll it so it lays flat. And like this, this is perfect. So if you have coloring pages or coloring book images that, that work with a the theme, then you just go right ahead and put the kids to work with their colored pencils and have them start coloring the hamburger or whatever it is that you want them to color. And there it is all colored in. Then you take your contact paper, put it over, rub it down. If you get a wrinkle in there, just make sure you smooth it out. The nice thing about the cork is it has a sticky side, so you don't even have to worry about the glue. Put this down, just like that, and then cut it out. And there it is, and there it is. And again, if you're concerned about the edge, run a very thin bead of glue around it and that will seal everything and you don't have to worry about anything getting wet inside. These are two versions so far, but what if you don't want to use cork and you don't want to use foam? This time, however, we are going to use some little facts that we can put behind there. So we have a fun fact here. Between Memorial Day and Labor Day, Americans consume 7 billion hot dogs. So that's a lot of hot dogs. So here's our hot dog shape. We flipped it over and then we just need to trim this up to be able to fit it on the hot dog. We take our glue, put it right on, put it on the hot dog. Now we have a fun little conversation starter for our guests right on there. Now you want two pieces of contact paper that are going to fit. Here's our bone folder again. You could use a credit card if you don't have a bone folder. Now you take your second sheet and you stick it together just like this. Now you just want to cut it out and there you have it. And that will fit like a little plastic cup will fit right on there. So you have plenty of room on both sides. 
And now you have a fun little conversation piece, just like that. So if you wanted to stay with a strictly hamburger theme, you could. And did you know if all the hamburgers eaten by Americans in a year were arranged in a straight line, it could circle the earth 32 times or more. That's something to think about. If you want to expand beyond hamburger, you can go s'mores, you can go hot dogs, you can go watermelon, you can go fireworks, a flag, you can do anything. And have them all laying around with their, their fun little facts. Consumers spend about $662 million on fireworks each year. How about that? The city that eats the most s'mores is Grand Rapids, Michigan. And remember, you could do it trivia with just the contact paper, easy, fast. Or if you're worried about anything scratching, you can use the foam, the craft foam, or the cork. All of these are easy. They require little to no drying, and I think it will add to the fun and festivities of your party. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this coaster idea. So if you're looking for a last minute idea, you've got it. Um, next week we are going to do another resin coaster and it's going to be in the theme of a Disney princess. If you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you know what I'm working on for Monday. I'm hoping to get the a resin table done, a garbage to gorgeous resin table done. I actually started working on it last year and then the weather turned and I never finished it. So. I'm close to being finished. I just need to put a last layer of resin on it. I'm really excited about it. Um, hopefully I'll get it done in time. Fingers crossed. So if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that or any of the other fun projects coming up. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here.